everyone, happy Monday. We are gonna go ahead and we are gonna look at our jobs for today. So really quickly, I just wanted to remind everyone that we are going to be starting our morning messages from the Google Classroom homepage from now on. Um, I know most of you guys just tend to hop on here anyway, so this just eliminates an extra step. So let's go ahead, let's look at our classwork for today. We are gonna start off with our morning work. It is a weekly check-in. You guys know how the weekly check-in goes, your name, you're going to tell me how your weekend was, if there's anything you'd like to share, something you're looking forward to, something you'd wish to change, um, anything you need from me, as well as which zone you are feeling today. Then for my C group, a B group, you already did this in class today, um, but for my C group, you're going to go ahead in your journal, you're going to write a story in which one of the characters is someone famous. Um, make sure that you include descriptive details and that your writing is at least five to six sentences. All right. Then for our spelling job, this is a job for everybody, we are going to be talking about vowel teams. And so please remember that slides one and two are just audio slides, meaning that you are reading and or listening to what the text says. So you're going to do that for slide one and slide two. On slide three, similarly to last week, you're going to go ahead, you are going to organize the letters into the correct category, excuse me, words into the correct category based on the total amount of letters each word has. Then we have our math spiral review. Again, this is a job for everybody. Many of the questions, including these top three sections, are um, ones that we've done before. And so you're going to see in this section right here, it all that it's doing is that it's taking um, addition and subtraction and it's kind of jumbling it together. So just please make sure that you are paying close attention to what the symbols say. So you can see six and seven are addition but eight through 10 are subtraction. So please pay attention to those symbols because it's gonna make a huge difference in what your response will be. Then on questions 11 and 12, you are going to be solving these division problems. So it's gonna be 24 divided by four and 36 divided by nine. So you're going to go ahead, you're going to solve with an array, and you're going to tell me what is um, the answer with an array. Now, you're going to see that there is a giant X over where the repeated subtraction um, is, and that's because I did not think that that was something that um, was necessary. So you're just going to go ahead, you're going to make an array that shows 24 divided by 4 as well as 36 divided by 9. Again, you do not need to give me the actual numerical answer. You are just showing me what the array would look like. Then we have cursive. Again, this is just my C group friends. You're going to go ahead. You are going to show me um, your cursive pages from with letters Q through T. Again, this is just a C job. Then you guys are going to have my C group again. You are going to be completing this anchor chart. It is going to be titled Working in Small Groups. And so your job is to tell me what does it look like and sound like and feel like to work in small groups. Small groups being anywhere between three to about... Mm, seven individuals, a small group, um, and you're going to go ahead, you are going to tell me what does it look like, sound like, and feel like when you are in a group. Again, that is something that we're going to go ahead and we're going to discuss later in the week, so it's really important that we do that today, so that way we are ready for when we do discuss that, um, working in small groups. 
Then for my C group, you're going to have your daily Zoom today at 12.30. Please remember that we do not have office hours for today. Um, so we just please keep that in mind. If you need help, please leave a comment on your assignment and I will do my best to respond right away. Then you guys will have Art Zoom. This is an A, B, and C job. So please, please make sure that you guys attend Art. You're going to go ahead, you click on the pink button, and it will take you there. For my C group friends, you are going to go ahead. You are going to complete this time activity. Again, this is just my C group friends. You're going to go ahead. You are going to answer... Um, the questions by going ahead and drawing the hands on the clock to match the digital times. And so you can see we're not actually drawing the arrows, but what's going to happen is we're going to click and we can drag the arrows. And so I would look, I see 335. I would go ahead, I would rotate. So here it is my hour hand that needs to be a little bit tinier because I know my hour hand is short and then I'm gonna take my minute hand I'm gonna drag a minute hand over and I'm gonna point it over to where I know the 35 marker is all right and then I have the time for 335 and so your your job is to go through and answer the rest of these questions by using the hour hand and minute hand to help you and then slide two you're going to match the vocabulary with the correct vocabulary or excuse me the correct definition with the correct vocabulary term all right and please remember for my C group Please wait to do this until after Zoom. Um, that way we can go ahead, we can discuss it, make sure that you guys know exactly what's expected of you before we have you do the practice. And then finally, you're going to see we have our D1 choice board. This is something that is new, so please make sure you're listening um, so you know exactly what you're going to do for this job. So. Each week from this point forward, you are going to be getting a choice board. Your job is to go ahead and select four total jobs that you will do for the week. This is going to be something that you will continuously come back to throughout the week. You're going to do this again on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And so your job is to go ahead and decide which of these jobs you would like to do for today specifically. So you would go through and I would, for example, go through, ooh, I know that I have some laundry that I need to fold. So you know what? That is what I'm going to do for today. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take my X. I'm going to cross out after I have completed that job. Then I'm going to move to slide number two. I am going to write where it says task completed. I am going to write what I did. So fold laundry. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put the date for today. And today is 5-10-21. All right. And then I would go ahead and I would just insert a quick little picture. Maybe um, I have a nice little pile of folded clothes um, and I could just take a quick picture of that to show yep I did my job for today if you choose for um, your choice board to do iReady or typing.com as I said um, in the little boxes here you do not need to insert a picture you would just write iReady math and then the date alrighty but for other jobs like art for kids hub um, creating a grocery list, cartoon book, instructions on your favorite meal, designing a dream home, and um, a bug hunt. Please, please, please make sure that you include pictures because, again, that is your way of just showing um, that you are completing the work. All right. 
Well, that is going to be it for today, D1. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, D1.